Hello, how are you today? This is Jilly Bling. I have a project I love to share, Pansy Patch. It's my new favorite. What do you think? Okay, a little bit of Velcro. Okay, a lot of Velcro. The B. Just a little something inside. So this is the first one I did and it was um, a little bit, on purpose, a little bit more simple just because it was the first time I was trying. But I really like this, it might be my favorite, but then I said that along the way each time. And I did make a few little changes and I'll show you. First of all, the Velcro is a little bit hard to pull up, so I started using only a half a dot of Velcro. See the Velcro right here and right here? So I was cutting it in half um, and I got the Velcro from Amazon and then <clears throat> when it's closed, I noticed that this looks like it's on dimensionals and I glued this flat. So on future um, samples, I put dimensionals under this side. Other than that, I, I love this card. And after I layered these leaves, and I love the color of the leaves, the cool tone of the greens, um, I realized I think there's a dye that would cut all these out. But that's okay. I, I love how this turned out. So this whole pansy patch project. I planned on just having maybe one or two samples and um, just different color options. But the more I played with it, the more I found. For instance, this is cut from the designer paper. So there's no stamping required other than the words on the inside. That's cut from designer paper. I planned on layering this underneath, but it just didn't need it. So because I had it cut out, I put it there. I don't know if it belongs there, but it looks good. And there's a little bee on the paper. I'll show you the paper here in just a minute. So, um, like I said, there's four different ways you could play with this set. And I thought it would just be one way. I'll show you all four. Okay, this was the last project I made. Um, I have three samples here. Um, and this is using the dies to cut out this pansy. And I think it turned out beautiful. Um, I was hesitant to use this set at first because to me the paper is a little bit busy so I wanted um, something a little bit calm, less pattern, but I guess I embraced it because this is a little bit busy and I still like it. So this has a half of Velcro and then I had a few ladybug trinkets. So this one has a ladybug, the first one had a bee. And then I did the um, two-step, actually it's three or four step stamping for the flowers and the leaves. The words in this are great too. Okay, and then this one was the second one I made. Isn't that cute? It is busy, but somehow it just works. I, I love it. This has the other half piece of Velcro. Maybe you could use a quarter piece. And I was trying different combos of using a dauber to apply color. Um, and it turned out okay. I think it looks better from a distance just because my ink got a little bit bubbly. But this turned out, I, I like the, the final effect of this one. And then this is where it all originated. My friend Janice said, hey, you've been doing fun folds here. And she sent me this. Love it. She has Stella on here and a little dragonfly down here. Oh, another thing is because the designer paper is directional, for instance, this one you could see everything is going up and down, which is what you want it to do, up and down. This paper is non-directional. So I kind of like this layout better because you could leave it open and standing up on your tabletop. Same with this one. This one. I don't know that you could leave it on the tabletop. I think it's, well, I guess so, but um, but it still looks cute. You can leave it open. Okay, so like I mentioned, Pansy Patch, and they call it two-step stamping, but this one, for instance, the big one, and this is at 90% the size, so this flower is a bit bigger. bigger. There's one, two, three, four, and this little dot puts the center in the middle of the flower. 
that's five step. The leaves are two, two step. So you could really layer this um, stamp set up. Okay, so I'm not sure what I want to do for the layout for today's. Um, papaya, bumblebee, blackberry bliss, fresh freesia, soft sea foam, calypso coral, polished pink, soft succulent, and evening evergreen. Um, and many of the colors, I think all of the colors, are listed on the back of the designer paper. Let's see, I have something else to show you. This right here. Oh, you know, let me go back to this. So there are three samples. This one, you're using the die cuts to make the flower, the leaves, and the bud. This one, you're stamping the flowers and the leaves. This one, you're cutting from designer paper the flower and for the one we're going to do today we're going to use the dies to cut the designer paper I'll show you that in just a minute but I want to get back and show you this so there are dies lots of dies look at all those and this is just a kind of a tool to show you to make this flower, these are the pieces you need. And my little notes here says papaya tink, papaya tint, blackberry bliss tint, papaya, blackberry, and on the leaves it is evergreen tint. And then these just get glued together, so glue all these together, these together, that, the leaves. Oh, and these three Stack them on top with liquid glue, and that is this piece right here. It's kind of popped up a little bit. But if you want to make this flower, there are some of the steps. And I'll take a picture of this from my blog. Not that it's hard. I was just looking at the pieces and figuring it out. Um, I wish somebody had this in front of me in advance, but that's okay. It's figure outable. There's a stamp set that says that. Okay, so, oh, here's the trinkets. We'll use the bee later. Um, pansy petals. In the catalog, page 28 and 29, here is the bundle, the product suite, everything you could want. This helped me figure out how to put together that um, die cut piece flower. This shows the dies cutting out the paper and the leaves. Then it shows two step stamping on there. Good stuff. Okay, so I want to use this new ribbon, soft succulent. We'll be using all these dies. So this is the paper. And notice there's two different size flowers. So there's a die to cut out the small pansy and the big pansy. And you get two sheets of that in a pack. And you know, I was going through cutting off these edges, thinking I would just set them off to the side. But some of these, for instance, this um, papaya one, I think I could somehow make it work just by piecing. So I'd have a little line through there. But just an FYI, you could make some of them work if you're in a pinch. So there is that pattern. And then this pattern here, I just hand cut out. And that's what I did on the first project. And this is the one that has those little bees on it. Very cute paper. And then here's duplicates. And on the back of all these pages is gingham. And this one I think is dots, but the rest of the papers, the back of it is a uh, soft pastel gingham. And that's really, really nice. Let's see, I have some of them here. Succulent, that was first project. Oh, I like the stripe. So if this is too busy for you, which I probably would have said it's too busy for me at first, until I played with it, now I love it. You can use it 
like flip over the paper and use any of these. Okay. So we're going to score, and this paper is cut to nine and a half inches by four and a quarter. We're going to score it at two and seven and a half. Two, seven and a half. So, you know, before I fold it, I'm going to put on my designer paper. And this is going to be another directional one. Because of that, let me score these first. Okay. Oh, I like that, though. Okay, let me... Try to stick with this. I might make another sample because I really like this side of the paper. Oh, but this is cute too. Stampin' Up! You make good stuff. Stuff I don't even know that I like until I try it and then I love it. Might have put that one on crooked. Maybe I cut it crooked. Okay, so there is that. This will go on the inside. And I have die cuts. Oh, I didn't show you. I'll, I'll show you the die cuts. So there are two different ways you could do it. I guess it's early in the morning. I'm still full of caffeine. So the die cuts are, there's three sets. And that's beyond the, the pansy sets. Okay, my new favorite, Hippo. I use these all the time. Hippo, layering circles, tasteful labels. So, this one is Hippo, and I'm pretty sure these two are Hippo. This is the layout we're going to be doing now. So there's the large one, and then these two um, oval-type ones. See how this one looks a little bit rounder? So there's the round, there's the stitched shape back behind here, and then the circle. And these two use the same dies for the focal point. Okay, so I am going to cut these out with my machine, stamp and cut embossed machine. Here they are. So because this one is directional, Kind of drives me crazy. That's not, um, I don't think I cut it right because it looks good here. Oh, once I cover it up, it shouldn't be so bad. Okay, if this ever happens, because I know this sticky is really sticky, really, really sticky. Okay, if that ever happens, just trim. And it's probably such a small amount, and I know very little is going to be seen. And I'm not worried about the middle, because I know the label will cover that up. Okay, so, when you're looking at that, but see, that looks better. Okay, that looks a lot better. Okay, carry on. Um, so we went over the dies. These three plus the pansy dies. And I wanted to use the designer paper. And looking for flowers. Um, 
How about these right here? They're at the bottom. So it's best if you can cut out your flower with a little bit of um, margin before you put it on your machine. Obviously, this is not going to go through the machine. And maybe one more um, Fresh Freesia Blackberry Bliss combo. Okay, so let's see how that is looking. That's cute. Okay, so like I said, there's dies to cut these out. Hold on. And I've been using washi tape, and luckily I get a good um, border on it. It does look a little bit close here. I might trim it. Um, but these are, in my world, they're behaving really well. Sometimes I use dyes, and they just, I, I don't do very good with them. I have one side that's really a big, wide, white border. Um, but washi tape helps, because the last thing you want it to do is to shift. And I try to put the washi tape on the area I'm not saving, just because sometimes washi tape, it pulls up the paper. And we wouldn't want it to ruin your, your lovely pansy. Okay, so let's see how this is going. So, my friend Jackie is so kind, so generous and sweet. She gave me this little flower, it had three flowers in it. That little tiny, tiny white one that kind of spreads everywhere. And some, they weren't pansies, I think they're called violets. And I planted them, and they did okay. And then they started looking a little bit tired, but I really like them. So, have you ever been to Johnson Brothers Nursery? Oh my gosh, first time I was there this past weekend. Um, they have everything. It, I don't know how much land they have there, but they have so many options. Um, but I was looking for violets. I think maybe I should have been looking for like mini pansies or something. They said, no, nope, they're not in right now. But, um, this made me think of her. That's the reason I pulled this set out. <gasps> Look at that. Do you see how nice that font is? It's very feminine, very um, kind of detailed. Here, I'll hold it up here in just a minute. Thinking maybe this will fit, right? Oh, look at that. You think I planned that? Okay, I'm going to hold it up just because I'm so thrilled with the how delicate the font is. Whoops. Isn't that pretty? And look how perfectly it fits there. I like that. Okay, so these are going to go here. So the inside, since I have the ink out, a little hello from me to you. So for the inside, how about the little things you do make such a big difference? So that can go on here. Since I have the ink out, oh, can I put a flower there? I know you guys never do that. It's because I'm using these blocks. All of my blocks are being busy right now. No thumbprint. Okay, that turned out good too. The thing about blackberry and razzleberry is you get it on you and it's going to end up everywhere. I probably should try to remedy that before before it gets out of hand. Okay, you see me cleaning it. It just it, it transfers so easy everywhere. Um and I think maybe along the bottom, let's Put some should be pink or I think maybe pink or freesia. 
think on the other one I did pink. So maybe um, maybe stick with the Cresha Blackberry Bliss theme. Okay, so these are going to go here. Somehow I want to use that ribbon. This right here, I'm not quite sure how. Maybe, because it looks really good together. Maybe it could just be ruffled underneath. Do you remember ribbon ruching from back in the day? Okay. So I'm going to stick these together. Ah, you like my paper? So if you're doing this box and you get this paper, I made up a new color chart for the blends. And um, I did a mistake on it. So I had 10 sheets of basic white paper, which you all know how I love it. Um, and I couldn't just throw them away. And if you put it on a dark color, you can't tell, right? Okay, so I, I need to come up with a plan here. So if these are... Like that. And they could go on dimensionals. I think I'm going to do the ribbon on um, the back side of the flowers. I don't want it to be too symmetrical. Um, I have to think about how much room do I have. Oh, the flowers are all the way on that panel. And yeah, I do need quite a few because it's going to hold my ribbon. Lori, don't comment. I know I use lots of them lately. Okay, so for the ribbon, isn't this pretty? And it comes in the papaya. I'll show you the papaya. Look at this color. It comes in the in colors. Where's papaya? Here it is. This is in the peach box. Look at that. Yeah, really nice. And it's um, very pliable. See how easy it is to work with? Okay, so this is going to go I kind of want to make it look a little frilly and you know like like a vine like if there was a vine behind the pansy Because I like foo foo stuff and I'm liking that a lot. Okay, so I'll trim up the ends in just a minute. But let me put this on. Oh, I like that. Oh, I have stick them on here. Okay, okay, okay. Carry on, carry on. Look at that. I love it when my room and me get along. I'm okay with it kind of going over there. I know I mentioned it before, but I have one project and it it didn't, I, I waited so long to do it and finally I took the time to do it and it was not worth it. It was such a headache. I threw it away. I've never done that before. I know you've heard, a few of you have heard this that come to class. I've never had that happen. And then I didn't want to go in my room because I thought, I'm going to have failure again. Um, but the peach, the peach bundle, and this project, they certainly make up the difference. They make up for it. Okay, that looks good. So this I'm going to put on dimensionals, just because I want a little bit of a shadow onto the soft succulent. Okay, this is now my new favorite. Okay, dimensionals. 
I'm going to use the edge. You guys use your edges, right? And I don't think it goes over the edge of the soft succulent, this evening evergreen, too much. So that right there shall do it. Okay. And it just gets centered here. One of them I didn't center it. One of the circles. I wonder if it's going to be easier to do it this way. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's another thing, is when you put this on, do you want these little things here or here, or do you want to turn it a bit and have the rounded part? What did I do on the others? Oh, they're buried. Okay, I'm going to do it whichever way it goes on. Oh, works better upside down. centered. Look at that. That right there is really cute. That looks like a little fuzzy in the paper. Oh, no, it's loose. Okay, okay, carry on. So this is going to go here. See, now it's a little bit busy with the paper, but somehow I love it. So now this is going to go on with dimensionals because the Velcro is a little bit bulky. Okay, use the edge. So go right in the middle. Ish, doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Okay, make sure that dimensionals, there's a little bit showing. A little bit here showing. Okay, so now the Velcro. So this is a Velcro I got from Amazon. Um, when you go online, you can get a box of it, and these little dots are stuck together, but it costs about two times as much. This, I think it costs six or seven dollars for these, and I have to stick them together, but that's okay. And this stick that they use, it's super sticky. So, just take one of these and cut it in half. And beware, it'll get your scissors kind of gunky. Sorry about that. You could use your adhesive remover to get them cleaned up. Okay, so here is a half of it. And I'll just leave the half on for someone else later. And another half. You might even want to do a quarter because it's really, really strong, too strong. Okay, so now your, your scissors are probably sticking. Get your adhesive remover and get that gunk off of there. So to do the Velcro, stick it together real good and peel up one side of it off of the, so the adhesive is showing and that will go right here. And I'm doing it this way only because the first time I took off the two pieces and I stuck them together and my fingers stuck to the Velcro, I think, more than the Velcro stuck to itself. And it's real sticky. I think it pulled my fingerprints off. Okay, so now the Velcro. Can you see the two pieces on there? And close the door. Okay, card front is done. Oh, I didn't put the little the little critter. That little bumblebee trinket. Bumblebee trinkets were out of stock for a little while, but they're back. They're really cute. So one trinket per card. 
And I can always get you, if you want more, I can always order you some more. One time I saw somebody and they put five of them on. It's like, well, now five people don't get their trinket. So just one. That's all it takes. It makes it very special. And I just put a big glob of glue. And I'll put them in that. I guess you could do a glue dot. Can you see the glob of glue? And it takes a minute for it to dry. Yeah, they have a little bit of like stripes on the back, hopefully to hold whatever adhesive you have on it. And it slides. So I'm just going to let that sit. And hopefully it won't, <laughs> it won't slide to the wrong area. Now I'm going to set this here. And... There. Okay. That makes it flatter so it doesn't keep sliding off. So for the inside, let me see. On one of them, I stamped cuteness on the inside. Oh, it's this one right here. I stamped pink. Polish pink, pink polish on the inside. So this one, let's try going with little baby flowers along here in the purple tones. So I need to find, I think it's four. I need to find one, two, three, four. That's the little dot for the center. That's a leaf. I might put some leaves in there. There's two different leaves. This one I think is for the big one. Another leaf. Leaf, leaf. Big one. Oh, here we go. So one, two, three, four. And I need one more leaf. Maybe. How could it be absent? It's holding down my my bumblebee. There it is. Okay. So uh, I should have come up with a plan. You know what? When in doubt, I'm gonna do the leaves later. When in doubt, fresh freesia, blackberry bliss. You can look at the paper. Well, I have it right here. So, Freesha. But I'm going to do daubering. Okay, so I have daubers here. So when you go to do the dauber, it has the name of the color on the side. And it has a circle punch out so you know which one to put it in. Because, for instance, this one, see how it's um, pink polish? If you were to put the green into there, you would have pink on your green. So if you can, help out with these um, Freesia, Dauber, and Blackberry Bliss. And they go right back in this hole. I got this from Amazon too. It's supposed to hold lipstick. Do I have a lipstick? I have lip gloss. I guess lipstick holds better. But if you were a lipstick type gal, you could have a holder that helped you organize them. Okay, so fresh freesia, and I'm going to try to make it like this so it's a bit soft. Oh, but that one is cute too. Okay, maybe more like this one. I don't know. Um, I'm going to do the dauber because I don't want the whole background in um, freesia. And when you apply the color at first, it's a little bit strong. The more you keep daubering it, it will soften up a bit. I'm going to color these top two petals a little bit more. Maybe. Maybe, let me see how much color is on there. Not much. I'll put 
a little bit bright here in the middle. Just like, see how theirs is dark right there? Okay. And stamp that. You see, I don't know. Can you see that? Oh, you can see it. Ooh, that's fancy. And get much of the color off. And let's do it again. Freesia on the outside edge. I'm going to keep going around. I'm going to soften it up. And then this one. It's kind of a shame I'm not stamping the whole thing because it's so cute. Okay. And again, I'm going to do this along the whole bottom. Probably should leave room for leaves. This one I'm trying to make a little bit softer. I didn't re-ink the Blackberry Bliss. Okay, this one I'm going to make even softer with Freesia and maybe no Blackberry Bliss. Okay. Step one done. Now this one is the detail, and on here, this one is a little bit darker, but I don't want it, maybe some of them I'll try it real dark. So this is in Blackberry Bliss. Okay, maybe darker. Full string. You know, they're all a little different. So when you're lining this up, um, there's like this top petal. There's this one up here, and then the second layer. And then there's a little stripe on this, um, the prior stamp. That helps you line it up. Um, that one looks good. Yeah, if I did the second generation, that's not dark enough. Good. Okay, so I'm gonna, you know what? I'll do this one with dauber, and then the next one full strength. Oh, it turned out good. This one is just half of it, but that's okay. I think my thumb just went into that ink pad. I don't like these blocks. Okay, so we're done with that. And now there is this little one, which has to be in this, I think. And that just kind of fills in the center part of the pansy. Because there's a separate stamp, I guess it could be a different color. I need to inspect these pansies and violets. Okay, done with that one. And next is the little daubers. Get put away. Um, the little center, should I do a bumblebee or papaya? I think bumblebee, only because this one right here looks like bumblebee. Oh, and if there's spots in there, if you can, because um, one time somebody found the box and all of the mark, all of these spots, all the lids were falling off. So I think I need to keep rubber bands on them. Oh, and then the, Stamp pads, make sure they stay flat. There's a few people who like to put them on their side and it's nice and tidy. But then all the ink goes to one side of the pad. And that's not good. Okay, this is... I can't see through it. And you 
know this little pie shaped piece it's one side is a little bit more rounded and one side is more pointy oh that's cute I don't know. Do I need leaves? Maybe just a few. Maybe I'll do just this one. So this one I'm going to do succulent and evergreen. Evergreen. Evening Evergreen. I love the new colors. So I will go into the lighter color and then with the dauber, um, maybe just in the center, make it a little bit darker. Probably don't need to do all this much because there's not much showing. doesn't look much different. Therefore, just succulent. I'll get one of them in here so you can see the full on. That's a leaf. Oh, 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 let me show you something. Masks. Let's put a little leaf. So I just stamped the pansy on regular thin paper, like photocopy paper. Because now I'm protecting the flower and getting a leaf in there, like it's hiding back behind it. Looks good, huh? Okay, I'm feeling a little fancy. One more. Okay, one and a half more. Look at that. Okay. I think that's good. I have a mess all over. Evergreen and succulent. Pretty colors. Okay, so let's see how that looks on the card inside. Mass, I'll keep these in a box. I'll keep them in this tray. These are all dirty, dirty, dirty. Gotta get them cleaned. Okay. I'm about, like I'm about to run out. Hey Velcro, let go. Let go. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. With the evergreen background. Oh, I'm feeling so fancy. Okay, this is my favorite. I love the ribbon on there. <sighs> okay, so that is it for today. I'll put all the paper, the sizes to cut your paper, all the products to use, which is pretty much just the pansy um, suite. I'll put all that on my blog, and my blog is jillybling.com. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.